from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the New York Mets taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. So the New York Mets have a chance to get out of town with a series sweep, and that's big against a division rival. Yeah, they want to walk out of here feeling really good about what they've done. And sweeps are good, but divisional sweeps are outstanding, especially on the road. They're going to get a tough game from the other side, though, and no one's okay with getting swept in their own building, so they'll be ready as well. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set. And on the hill in this one, Aaron Nola. Chris having a scouting report. His Bottom of the first. And today's starter, Max Scherzer. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over three. So here's Scherzer. Swing and a bouncer. He beats it out, and the tapper turns into an infield single. And it looks like they might end up challenging this one. Very close play, and we will take another look as well. I couldn't tell in live action, that's for sure. And, you know, the umpire is so much closer to the play, and he thought he beat the throw. So, so they have decided to challenge the play, and now it's up to the replay umpires in New York to make the call. Another look at it. Singer, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge. And here it comes. That one is absolutely belted. Booyah! Francisco Lindor takes him deep, and the Mets on the board first. It's 1-0. So impressive how he was able to go down and get this fastball, but yet get it up in the air, hit it far enough to get out of this ballpark. Skipper rushed to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, Confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. JT Real Muto steps in and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. How much of the ability... Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. With his first major league home run, a special moment in his young career. And who knows, maybe that'll open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off the bat. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares. And, you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. Swing, and that one's hammered. Deep drive, way back there. Good ball. His second of the year, and it ties it up. It's 2-2. Just a nice job, recognizes off speed as that leg hangs in the air a little bit, but he gets it down, hits against a strong and firm front side, and that's uh, knocking a cheesesteak out of somebody's lap. <laughs> I would be upset if somebody knocked a cheesesteak out of my lap, I'll tell you that. I don't think that's possible. You're too quick. Swing, and that one's hammered. Deep drive, way back there. Boom, boom. His second of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 3-2. That's their third home run of the game. 
They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Out to short, sneaks through, base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but some pack and drive it to the opposite field. That one ripped left field. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. It bangs off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Reese Hoskins. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the... JT. Real oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A shot to left. His second of the year. It's 4-3. Absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Blue. We knew it wasn't coming back. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. The punch out there. One out. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitch. pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two away. No, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Out number three. Mets go down quickly. Slice to right. And that's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. In there safely. As the pitching coach makes a visit to the mound, one reliever still getting loose out the pen. Ten minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. That was a moon shot, and they add on. It's 7-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Tyler McGill gets the ball now. 
This is his third time out this year. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle. Up the middle, and it gets by him. That extends his hitting streak to an even dozen, Singy. Do opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy's on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more. They take so many runner on the go. Swing and a miss. McCann fires. Ow, caught stealing. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to know, I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And he chases that one. The pitch. Swing, and that one's hammered. Deep drive, way back there. Boom, boom. Tyler Naquin rounds the bases. His first homer of the year, and they close the gap. It's 7-4. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Here on stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Up a Good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off. With the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Robertson into the game. In the air, out towards right center. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Right-handed reliever. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup and he's down on strikes. For the second time today, salvage the finale of this three game series. Well, this was a tightly played game, got a little of everything, some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. This one finishes with a final of seven to four for Chris Singleton.